Are you still dizzy after having your crystals treated in your inner ears? You're not the only one. My name's Amy. I'm a vestibular physical therapist, which means I treat conditions such as BPPV, also known as positional vertigo, which causes vertigo. It's part 17 of my BPPV series, where I will tell you why you might still be dizzy after being successfully treated for your BPPV. So we're assuming in this situation that you have been tested for BPPV, tested positively for BPPV, meaning you have loose crystals in your semicircular canal, and then you were treated for that using head maneuvers such as the Epley maneuver, maybe a few times until you started testing negatively for crystals in your ear. If you no longer have free floating crystals in your ear, the maneuvers are no longer indicated, meaning there's no reason to move those crystals any further because they're already in the right place. Once this occurs, you will no longer have vertigo or spinning symptoms that are reproducible with head movements. For instance, if you knew that rolling onto your right side produced your spinning symptoms before, if your crystals are now cleared from the canals, you should no longer have those vertigo symptoms with that head movement. So even though you've stopped spinning, it is actually extremely common for you to have other types of lingering dizziness after a BPPV episode. In fact, it's so common that there's a name for it. It's called post-BPPV syndrome. Post-BPPV syndrome occurs because your ear is still inflamed from having the crystals be loose inside your semicircular canals for some time. Symptoms of BPPV syndrome include general symptoms of lightheadedness or feeling kind of faint, feelings of constant rocking, swaying, bobbing, or like you're on a boat, Sensitivity to certain positions or head movements like laying on your bad ear or lying flat. General disequilibrium or feeling unsteady on your feet. And general anxiety symptoms that the vertigo might return at any moment, thus resulting in fear avoidance behaviors such as continuously avoiding bending over or lying flat forever. Every single person who's experienced BPPV and every single time that they have experienced BPPV should be treated for BPPV with canalith repositioning, such as Epley maneuvers, until they are no longer testing positively for BPPV, and then should be assessed immediately after by a vestibular physical therapist for these kinds of post-BPPV syndrome symptoms. The treatment for post-BPPV syndrome include time, there's no substitute for letting your ear do some healing. The amount of time it takes for it to heal depends on the person and the episode itself. So it may differ from person to person and from recurrence to recurrence. Generally, most people feel back to normal within about two weeks. Vestibular exercises to exercise the connection between the ear and the brain can really help jog things along more quickly. Vestibular exercises usually include head movements, balance exercises, eye movements, and functional exercises to practice those head movements that make you dizzy. Which exercises you receive from your vestibular therapist should be customized based on your symptoms and your specific fear avoidance patterns and goals. Here's a few examples of common exercises I tend to give out. 